You're tuned in to the Tithing Hooks Podcast, where we offer teachings, commentary, and insights about false tithing doctrines and the prosperity gospel. In this podcast, I'm going to show you how tithing is an act of obedience, not worship. Are you tired of being told to tithe? Do you want to know the truth about tithing? The Tithing Hoax exposes the lies the prosperity gospel preachers tell their congregations. The book reveals how prosperity preachers use fear tactics, guilt trips, and manipulation in order to get your money. You will discover why it is not biblical for preachers to demand Christians give them 10% of their income. And most importantly, this book will teach you what God really wants from us when it comes to giving. After reading this book, you won't feel guilty about keeping more of your hard-earned money. Instead, you feel confident knowing God doesn't expect a certain percentage out of your paycheck each month. He just wants us all to love Him with our whole hearts and to trust Him with everything we have. So grab a copy of The Tithing Hoax today for yourself or as a gift for someone else who might need some help understanding tithing better. Get The Tithing Hoax now on Amazon.com. When it comes to giving to God, there is a lot of confusion about what is an act of worship and what is an act of obedience. Some people believe that if they tithe 10% of their income, they are worshiping God. However, this is not the case. Tithing is an act of obedience, and worship is a form of ministry. In this podcast, we will explore the biblical perspective on tithing and discuss why it cannot be used as a form of worship. We will also look at what it means to give to God and how we can do so in a way that honors Him. What does it mean to worship God? Worship is an act of reverence and submission to God. It is an expression of love and devotion to Him. It is the highest form of honor we can give to Him. Worship is not a form of payment to God. We cannot bribe or coerce Him into blessing us with His favor. Worship is not an act of earning God's love. It is a response to His love and grace that has been poured out on us through Jesus Christ. We can't worship God with money because money is a finite thing. It's not something that we can control or manipulate. It can't buy us salvation or redemption. Worship is a form of ministry that we offer to God out of love and gratitude for all He's done for us. Is tithing an act of worship? When it comes to the topic of tithing, many people are unsure of what it actually is. Is tithing an act of worship? Is tithing a form of worship? Is tithing part of worship? The answer to all of these questions is no. Tithing is not an act of worship, it is an act of obedience. Tithing is an act of obedience because the Lord commanded the ancient Hebrew Israelites to tithe. Under the Mosaic law, the Lord said, A tithe of everything from the land, whether grain from the soil or fruit from the trees, belongs to the Lord. It is holy to the Lord. Leviticus chapter 27 verse 30. If ancient Israel obeyed all the commandments of the law, including tithing, then the Lord would bless them abundantly. I will give you rain in its season, and the ground will yield its crops and the trees of the field their fruit. Your threshing will continue until grape harvest and the grape harvest will continue until planting time. You will eat your fill and be prosperous. Leviticus chapter 26 verses 3 to 5. So, biblical tithing was not viewed as an act of worship, but as an obedient act that would result in blessings from the Lord. What is giving to God? When we talk about giving to God, we're talking about more than just tithing our money. We're talking about giving our time, our talents, and our resources. All of these things are important to God, and He desires for us to use them to glorify Him. More importantly, God wants us to make our bodies live a living sacrifice. This means that we should be willing to use all that we have to serve Him. When we do this, it's an act of worship that pleases Him greatly. The Apostle Paul said it this way. I appeal to you therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Why is it not appropriate to use tithes as an act of worship? The main reason why it is not appropriate to use tithes as an act of worship is because worship is a form of ministry, while tithing is an act of obedience. When we give to God, we are giving from the heart in response to what? He has done for us. We cannot put a price on what God has done for us, and we cannot equate our giving with worship. When we talk about worship, one of the first things that comes to mind is singing. Singing is a powerful way to express our love for God and to connect with Him. The Bible says, Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into His presence with singing. 
Psalm 100 verses 1 and 2. Worship is also about giving God our undivided attention. It's about setting aside time to focus on Him and to connect with Him. We can do this through prayer, Bible study, and quiet reflection. Another way to worship God is through service. We can serve Him by helping others in need and by sharing the Gospel with them. There are many ways we can worship God, but tithing is not one of them. A final word. Tithing is an act of obedience to God. It's not a form of worship, and you can't worship Him with money. The Bible tells believers to worship the Lord by giving Him their time, talents, and resources. When we do this willingly and cheerfully, it's an act of worship that pleases Him greatly. So, if you're looking for ways to worship God, look beyond tithing and find other ways to give back to Him. He will be pleased with your efforts. If you're interested in learning more about tithing, we recommend reading our book, The Tithing Hoax. In it, we explore the biblical and historical evidence for and against tithing. We also provide practical advice on how to give generously without tithing. Thank you for listening, and be blessed.